Hey guys, it's me, V Clifto here. Um, I want to first start off by saying that I'm finally done with high school. I finished my last exam Thursday, which was so easy that it was supposed to be a two hour exam and I finished it just under 45 minutes, which is amazing. Um, the good thing about finishing high school is, is that I no longer have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I've woken up at 5.30 in the morning since pre-K, and you don't know how horrible... If you if you don't know, I mean, that's just terrible. Like, it's terrible. You don't want to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, because you're extremely tired no matter when you go to sleep. So, I mean, that's just... That's a cool part. Mm. Now, now that I'm done, I plan... I think I should give a uh, top five tips on how to succeed in high school okay tip number one deals with relationships if you meet a girl that's you know pretty and she seems into you but you're like I, I don't know I mean I need to find out get with her if she's good looking she looks interested in you and you can stand her and you're, you don't don't say I don't know and move on just that's the girl that's the girl you're gonna have to you should get with because you know what by the time you're in junior year easily all the girls are taken or they have some problem or they're just off and on with whoever you know it's just terrible you know just so don't go with the I don't know you have to go and pursue pursue um, tip number two deals with sports um, play sports start sports freshman year this is big because I I didn't really play I didn't play football freshman year I don't know like I guess it wasn't really what I wanted to do I don't I was freshman year I was focusing on academics because I thought it was gonna be a hard school year and that's kind of why I didn't I, I mean I screwed up with the with tip number one but I also screwed up with tip number two which is I didn't do sports freshman year which is very Trust me, that's the, I mean, the reason why you want to do sports freshman year is so that the coaches know you, so that you can learn. Because if you, if you join late, you don't know any of the plays. You don't know anything. You're just, you're so far behind because you don't know anything. Also, it lets you, lets you figure out how good you are. If you, if you start late, you have a less, of, I mean, you really have a less chance of succeeding. Unless you're just a god at the sport, whatever. Most people aren't, so you I mean you gotta you gotta pursue it as soon as you can. Tip number three deals with schoolwork. First tip: history is 90% vocabulary. You don't believe if you don't believe me, look at your look at your history test. If you just would have studied the vocabulary, you would have gotten an 80 or a 90. It's 90% vocabulary. Don't memorize dates in high school. You don't need to memorize them. That's just it. And learn how to bullshit essays. This is a big thing because you don't really want to be able to write essays and spend hours and hours on these essays. Learn to build the BS essays and put the right information in there. What to, what to put in there. Don't. And the last tip for schoolwork is don't get caught cheating or don't plagiarize. Learn to put extra words in there. You know, just figure it out. Tip number four is find a hobby these hobbies help you get rid of the stress that school brings like call of duty now tip number five which i didn't personally learn but a student did is don't have sex on school property that could ruin your high school career the big thing is is if you're in middle school most teachers are saying it's hard don't believe them if you're in a medium preparatory middle school high school even at the highest level won't be too difficult it's just you got to learn how to study differently this has been all the tips that I've learned and this has also been the Clifto and I'm signing off so stay cool my friends